Birth Nathaniel Hawthorne. He was born July 4th, 1804 and died May 19th, 1864. He was born in 1804 in Salem, Massachusetts to Nathaniel Hawthorne Sr. and the former Elizabeth Clark Manning. His ancestors include John Hawthorne, the only judge involved in the Salem witch trials, who never repented of his actions. He entered Barden College in 1821 and graduated in 1825. He published his first work in 1828, the novel Fanshawe. He later tried to suppress it, feeling that it was not equal to the standard of his later work. He published several short stories in periodicals. He became engaged to Sophia Peabody. He worked at the Boston Custom House and joined Brook Farm, a transcendentalist community, before marrying Sophia in 1842. The Scarlet Letter was published in 1850, followed by a succession of other novels. A political appointment as counsel took Hawthorne and family to Europe before their return to Concord in 1860. He died on May 19th, 1864, and was survived by his wife and their three children. Death, Marie Curie. She was born the 7th of November 1867 and died the 4th of July 1934. She was a Polish and naturalised French physicist and chemist who conducted research on radioactivity. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first person and only woman to win the Nobel Prize twice and the only person to win the Nobel Prize in two different scientific fields. She was part of the Curie family legacy of five Nobel Prizes. She was also the first woman to become a professor at the University of Paris, and in 1995 became the first woman to be entombed on her own merits in the Pantheon in Paris. She was born in Warsaw, in what was then the Kingdom of Poland, part of the Russian Empire. She studied at Warsaw's clandestine flying university. In 1891, aged 24, she followed her older sister, Bronisława, to study in Paris, where she earned her higher degrees and conducted her subsequent scientific work. She shared the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics with her husband Pierre Curie and physicist Henry Becker Roll. She won the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Her achievements included the development of the theory of radioactivity, a term that she herself coined, techniques for isolating radioactive isotopes, and the discovery of two elements, polonium and radium. Under her direction, 
the world's first studies into the treatment of neoplasms were conducted using radioactive isotopes. She founded the Curie Institutes in Paris and in Warsaw, which remain major centres of medical research today. During World War I, she developed mobile radiography units to provide X-ray services to field hospitals. She died in 1934, aged 66, at a sanatorium in France of a plastic anemia from exposure to radiation in the course of her scientific research. Event in 1534, Christian III is elected King of Denmark and Norway in the town of Rye. The election of Christian III as King of Denmark and Norway on the 4th of July 1534 was a landmark event for all of Denmark and Norway. It took place in St. Sorens Church in the town of Rye in eastern Jutland, where the Jutlandic nobility elected Prince Christian son of King Frederick I as king. This brought about the Count's feud and later also led to the implementation of the Protestant Reformation in Denmark and Norway. Members of the lesser nobility had turned up but were made to stay outside. The lengthy discussion about the election eventually made them lose patience and they forced their way into the church and demanded to know who opposed the election of Prince Christian. After that the opponents finally gave up. The Bishop of Aarhus wept when he signed the request for the Protestant Duke to become king, realising that it would mean his own downfall. Although hesitant, Christian accepted the election. Christian's Protestant policies led Denmark towards the establishment of Lutheranism. Churches were closed and priests turned out of their parishes. Bishops were imprisoned until they agreed to marry and give up their privileges. Some submitted after years of imprisonment. Others refused to accept and became martyrs to their beliefs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, click the like button and please subscribe. Thank you.